Hey everyone, let's take a look at number 16. So it says an environmental scientist wants to test the null hypothesis. I'm gonna highlight that. As soon as I see hypothesis, I know I'm in a chapter nine situation. So this is a hypothesis test. This is gonna be chapter nine. All right, wants to test the null hypothesis that an anti-pollution device for cars is not effective. Under which of the following conditions would a type one error be committed? Okay, so we want to test the null. Okay, so it's telling me the null is that the car is, I'm sorry, the device is not affected. So let me write that down. So H not, in this case, would be device not effective. Oops, effective. So the complement to that for the alternate has to be that the device is effective. So H sub A has to be that the device is effective. Okay, so we've always got four possibilities. The null is correct and we fail to reject it. Uh, the alternate is correct and we reject the null, but the errors happen when the null is correct and we mistakenly reject it, right? Or the alternate is correct and we fail to reject the null. So type one error, all right? So type one error, that's when you reject H naught even though it was correct, when true. Let me put a little, let me change my pen color and put a little dividing, a little separating squiggle there. All right, so type one error, you're rejecting the null when it's true. If you wanna do the type two, I mean, I know they didn't ask us for a type two error here, but type two error is when you fail to reject the null and it's false. All right, oops, let me write false correctly. I also tend to think, like this is how I did it when I was in college. I thought if, it, if I'm making a type two error, then the first equation is true. So ho is true, right, but I mistakenly think ha. So if I'm thinking about that in context, if the null is true, right, the device is not effective, but I mistakenly think it is. Right. So another way of saying that is I put this anti-pollution um, anti device in cars and it doesn't actually do anything to help with pollution. So let's see if we can find this here. All right. So we've got for part A, the scientist concludes that the anti-pollution de device is effective when it's not. Oh, there it is. That's the answer. <laughs> and that's what we just said. Um, now, let me go through B through D because I, for me personally, I like to always look at my other options and make sure those are also like I feel those are incorrect. So B says the scientist concludes that the anti-pollution device is not effective when it actually is. So this one, if you conclude it's not effective when it actually is, this is the type two error. Okay, for part C, it says the scientist concludes that the anti-pollution device is effective when it is. This, so C, this is not even an error. That's a good thing, right? If you conclude it's effective and it's effective, then great. Um, D, uh, the scientist concludes that the anti-pollution device is not effective when it is not. Well, this is, again, not an error. This is a good thing. Not an error. So A through D are the four options that could happen, right? So we could either make a type 1 error, a type 2 error, or we could get it correct. All right, so A is our answer for this one. 